The Atrium Oasis Dry Suction Water Seal Chest Drain System is the device utilized at St. Mary Mercy Hospital to maintain chest tube drainage. This video will provide an overview of the features of this drainage system. The chest tube will be placed by a physician, possibly at the bedside, but likely during a procedure. The Oasis drainage system is what the nurses on the inpatient units will need to know how to manage for their patients with chest tubes in place. The Oasis can be found in the pod rooms on all units. When opened, it will look like this. It is sterilely packaged, however, when we need to set up a new unit for a patient on the floors, aseptic technique will be used. On the back of the Oasis, simple setup instructions can be found. Also on the back, a small container of sterile water is attached to the system. Remove the water. Then place the drainage system on a stable surface. Anytime the Oasis system will be resting on a surface, utilize the attached stand. Spin the stand, which is attached to the base of the unit, out to stabilize the container. It's important that this container never get knocked over or tipped. Insert the sterile water into the blue port on the top of the Oasis. Empty all the sterile water into the Oasis. There is a blue dye in the chamber that will color this water. When it is filled, the water should reach the 2 cm indicator line. The area labeled with an A is the suction control. The Oasis will be attached to wall suction but the OASIS unit itself will control the amount of suction that is actually being applied to the chest tube. This dial can be turned to either negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, or negative 40 millimeters of mercury. The unit will come preset to negative 20, which is probably the most commonly ordered amount, but always check the order in EPIC to verify the desired amount of suction. If it must be changed, there is a small wheel on the side of the OASIS that will allow you to spin the dial to the desired amount. The chamber directly below the suction dial, labeled E, contains a small orange bellows. When suction is turned on, these bellows should expand into the visible window. A triangle denotes the proper inflation when the suction is set to negative 20. If you are set to negative 20 and the orange bellows does not reach or exceed this marking, there is not enough suction being delivered to the patient. You will either need to increase the suction coming from the wall control if it is set too low, or it could mean the OASIS is not functioning properly and you will need to replace the unit. As the triangle is the marker to show proper suction when set to negative 20, if the OASIS is set to negative 30 or negative 40, the bellows should expand beyond the triangle. If it is set to negative 10, the bellows should not reach the triangle marking, but should still be visible in the window. The B chamber represents thoracic pressure. There is a small white ball that will float on the fluid as it fills this chamber. The fluid, and ultimately the ball, will likely fluctuate in this chamber with patient breathing and movement. From a bedside nurse perspective, there isn't much to be concerned with for this chamber. The chamber at the bottom of the unit, labeled C, contains most of the water that was inserted into the oasis. This is the chamber where bubbles will appear if there is an air leak or air is being pulled from the patient. This will be explained more in depth later in the video. The three columns on the right, labeled D, are where suctioned fluids will be stored and measured. Fluid will first fill the far right column to capacity, then the center, and finally the leftmost column to a total of 2 liters. Measurement markings on the columns allow for easy measurement and documentation of output volumes. Attached to the unit, and stored in a pouch on the back of the oasis, is the tubing that will connect to the chest tube. There is a large clamp on the tubing, as well as an inline connection. This connector will allow the nurse to quickly disconnect the unit from the tubing to replace it with a new oasis drainage system, without having to replace the tubing. The Christmas tree shaped adapter at the end of this tubing will be inserted directly into the end of the chest tube. Tape can be applied to this connection to protect it from accidentally being pulled apart. A small needleless port can be found proximal to the inline connector. This is used to remove fluid samples. Contained in the handle of the oasis are two hooks used to secure the unit to the bed. This device can be either hung from a bed or placed on the ground when the attached stand is used. 